After scoring his third Premier League hat-trick against Manchester United, Erling Haaland smashed Michael Owen's record by a whopping 40 games. The Manchester City forward has really taken the Premier League by storm, ripping apart defences in the world's hardest league for fun, and it looks like he's just getting started. Join us as we look at how Premier League stars are reacting to Haaland. Stay tuned until the end to find out the crazy length fans are going to stop the Norwegian forward. Erling Haaland is stealing the show week in and week out. The powerhouse striker became the first scorer of a hat-trick in a Manchester derby as City beat United 6-3 at the Etihad on the 3rd of October. The rampaging City star completed the feat inside 64 minutes, courtesy of his 12th, 13th and 14th Premier League goals. His next goal came against Southampton, which has taken his tally to 15 so far, already leaving him just five goals shy of equaling last year's Golden Boot winning tally, with just eight games played. How crazy is that? Just nine minutes after Haaland completed his three-goal haul, Phil Foden became the second player to score a hat-trick in a Manchester derby, with two of those assists provided by his Norwegian teammate, thus completing a fine afternoon's work for the latter. Indeed, so impressive was Haaland's dominant performance against United that the 20-year-old was duly bestowed an ultra-rare 10 out of 10 match racing from French media outlet Le Quip. Only 14 players in history have been awarded full marks by the publication, which is famously strict when it comes to giving out their grades. Lionel Messi is the only player to have received the vaunted 10 out of 10 from Le Quip on more than one occasion though both of his Paris Saint-Germain strike partners Kylian Mbappe and Neymar have also earned the honour once themselves in the past few years. The Norway international has bagged a staggering 20 goals in 11 appearances in all competitions for the citizens. His latest offering, a brace in his side's Champions League win over Copenhagen, coming just days after he bagged the hat-trick against Manchester United. Gary Lineker was quick to analyse Haaland and the praise he's been getting. Lineker was asked by one of his many followers on Twitter after Haaland was subbed off by Pep Guardiola in the European tie, whether he believes the striker to be the best goalscorer he's ever seen. The former England international issued a measured response. Too early to say, tweeted the Match of the Day host. He said, If he carries on this way for another 10 or 15 years and avoids serious injuries, then he could challenge the greats. We have all seen how Guardiola is obsessed with Messi. However, when he was recently asked for his opinion on how Haaland compares to one of his former players, arguably the greatest individual to ever grace the sport, Lionel Messi, in an apparent bid to keep his striker grounded, the ex-Barcelona boss replied, The difference is that maybe Erling needs all his teammates, while Messi had the ability to do it on his own. BT Sport pundits Owen Hargreaves and Peter Crouch suggested Guardiola's comments were a little harsh ahead of the Copenhagen clash, heaping praise on Haaland. But Guardiola knows how to keep his players on earth and not let them fly to a different dimension, so it figures. However, the Manchester City manager has said that at Haaland's age, no one is better than him. He stated, The numbers speak for themselves, and inside, in the locker room, and on the pitch, we see things that are not in the stats that make us feel happy to have him here. Despite the high standards being set, Guardiola believes there is more to come from Haaland. He's not the only one who praised Haaland for his talent and mind-blowing stats. Former Manchester United defender Rio Ferdinand thinks that Erling Haaland could be the winner of the 2023 Ballon d'Or. He said that Haaland would be guaranteed the individual prize if City wins the Champions League this season. No questions about it, as there's no one who can get near him. Guardiola has failed to win the European trophy since leaving Barcelona but the arrival of Haaland from Borussia Dortmund has made them a more ruthless prospect. But the most shocking comment came from Jurgen Klopp. His main player, Mohamed Salah, has won the Premier League's Golden Boot in three of the past five seasons, with 118 goals scored and 180 games in that period. His record tally in the English top flight is 32, set during the 2017-18 campaign, while the Egyptian has broken the 20-goal mark on three other occasions. But this time around, Salah has so far only struck twice in seven outings in the league, with Haaland steaming clear in the Golden Boot race after firing 15 goals in nine appearances so far. When asked whether he feels his Egyptian forward is close to exploding this season, Klopp admitted he's hoping that is the case. However, he insisted he cannot measure himself against City's new talisman. Klopp said, with Mo, I hope he's close to exploding, but nobody in the world can cope with the Haaland situation at this moment. It's crazy what he's doing. 
So the cop boss is basically saying that it's unfair for people to even compare Salah to Haaland. The 22-year-old became the fastest player in the league's history to score three hat-tricks, achieving the feat in just eight games. Former Liverpool and Manchester United forward Michael Owen was the previous record holder, though his 48-match mark was obliterated by the Man City striker. His recent exploits have led many to question whether he's the man to break Alan Shearer's all-time Premier League goal-scoring record of 260. Owen jokingly accused Haaland of being a cheat after crushing his Premier League hat-trick record over the weekend. The 42-year-old hailed the Norwegian as incredible, but also praised Kevin De Bruyne for supplying the service. When asked whether Haaland could potentially break Shearer's record, Owen added, I would say so. If he's having success and if the Premier League remains the strongest, then I would say so. And it's amazing, isn't it? Aston Villa manager Steven Gerrard is another Premier League legend who's afraid of Erling Haaland. Gerrard spoke to Sky Sports about the challenge that awaited his under-pressure team before the clash against Manchester City. He said, He's very different and a physical specimen. From afar, we knew he had world-class ability, and he's certainly backing that up right now. So hopefully, Pep will give him a rest tomorrow. Asked if Haaland makes City a different proposition, Gerrard added, I think so. You need to be diligent with this individual, which is easier said than done because that's the level of the player you're dealing with, and he's a top player. Former Arsenal manager shares similar views. Providing his thoughts on Haaland's display against Manchester United, Wenger labelled him a monster. The Frenchman went on to heap praise on the striker for his positioning. Wenger went on to hail the Manchester City hitman as a born goalscorer. Speaking after the game, Haaland himself claimed that Manchester City could have put more goals past Manchester United. He also admitted that he was dissatisfied with how City played in the second half. He said, It could have been more and in the second half, we should have been tighter, worked a bit harder because it was a bit sloppy at times. We lost the second half and this is not good, so we'll have to work. It's crazy to think that even after scoring a hat-trick and trashing their rivals, the player thinks things could have been better. He obviously gets that from his manager, who is always striving for improvement. Against Southampton, the attacker was able to only net one goal, to which Pep said, I'm surprised he didn't score a hat-trick. He joked about Haaland facing the sack for failing to claim another match ball. It says everything about the standards the new Manchester City number 9 is setting, that Guardiola and the Etihad fans cannot believe their eyes when he misses the target. Haaland finally got on the score sheet in the 64th minute, when he swept home Jao Cancelo's low cross after the fullback had brilliantly exchanged passes with Kevin De Bruyne. Haaland seems to be on a path to conquer the football world, as a few others did before him. He's got everything City needs to win their first Champions League trophy, and that would ultimately win Haaland the Ballon d'Or. While comparisons with Messi and Ronaldo aren't fair yet, there's a big possibility that he'll be mentioned in the same bracket as the greatest players of all time in a decade or so. An account named Ten Hags Reds has set up a petition on website change.org in a bid to get Haaland banned from playing football altogether. It comes after Haaland bagged a hat-trick against the Red Devils in the Manchester derby. The description of the petition reads, It's just simply not fair. We can make a change. Now is the time for us people to act. This robot should not be allowed to carry on in our country. While the petition has no hope of actually banning Haaland from playing, it does show the level to which opposition fans are fearful of the striker. City boss Pep Guardiola could not have dreamed of a better start for his star signing of the summer. When he found out about the petition, Pep actually smiled at the humorous joke. Do you think Haaland is the best player in the world right now? Let us know in the comments.